So apart from sand flag being an absolute must out in the desert, communication is key. Uh, along the QAA line, you've got call points every five kilometers rough and ready. Um, so you can use these points to call out on channel 10, party of three, eastbound, QAA line, just past call point two, for example. And then if someone's within range, they hear that, they can call out their position and vice versa. From there, you can work out if you're opposing or if you're traveling in the same direction. In this case, you can see the guys pulled over for us, which was great. I just let them know what vehicles are in our convoy. And then from there, we just keep on trucking along. Made it to Popper's Corner, happy days. Uh, been a bit of a trek, took a little bit longer to get out here. I'm um, in Queensland. He's in Queensland. Um, where are you, Millie? I was in Yeah, but we made it. So tonight, plan of attack, find a campsite and um, eat some more flies. So um, this was our camp last night, massive salt lake, nice little sneaky spot. We had no one near us at all. I guess it's the beauty of being in the desert. Um, woke up to howling dingoes, that was sweet and scary. <laughs> um, and kids are running around like little Michelin men. But uh, this is our U-turn point for the trip. So we've summed it up basically. We got plenty of fuel. Um, but the tracks are taking heaps longer than what we expected. So we're going to um, start our way back to um, to Big Red, hoping we get another night at Air Creek Bypass. That was um, magic. So, um, yeah, check it out.
you may recall part one where we said Air Creek was impassable. It was for us, still is in our minds as well, but we arrived just a few seconds before the crew from South Coast Adventures were about to tackle it. So I quickly threw up the drone and as you can see they give it a red hot crack. It actually looks like the main part of the creek, the deepest part, the um, ground is actually quite solid. Um, the main and uh, most difficult part was actually the exit. I'd say there's probably been a few cars that have tried this and as you can see the rig just gets caught up on the exit, it's rutted out a lot more uh, than in my opinion probably the main part of the track in the middle of the creek but beauty of that is right at least you're not stuck in the guts of it with the car filling up with this scummy muddy water now the challenge is just got to work out how to get out of it <laughs> so um, we did have to bail we were on a bit of a tight schedule i believe they just used the good old trusty max tracks and popped themselves out and we also found out that the next creek along uh, along the line here was actually a lot easier to drive. So, a bit of a relief. We were wondering how the, um, the crew went afterward.
big red. We finally got back after doing our loop in the Simo, which was awesome. Um, what happened, big fella? Uh, third attempt up, found each attempt getting a little bit faster and a little bit more right foot and front CV broke. So, no luck. Little it was a good attempt. It, it was definitely the harder of the, uh, the tracks to do and it was wicked soft, so uh, I'm yet to give it a crack, so we'll see how I go. Um, but there you go, advice from Lola. I'm not going to go, so little red it is for us. So.